pass. He's back to pass. Pressure coming. He's going to get hit in the end zone. That's going to be a safety. It's now time for Gridiron State of the Union. Another touchdown for the Rage, and they've gone up. The score is 23-17. Presented by DMR Reconstruction, North Carolina's leader in quality insurance restoration services. With crews on standby 24 hours a day, seven days a week. DMR Reconstruction has your restoration needs covered. Give them a call at 704-327-4028. He's going to hand it off to Byron. Byron on the right-hand side. He's going to be into the end zone. Touchdown, Monroe. Gridiron State of the Union is your insider's look each week into Union County High School football. Michael fires one off, and it's into the end zone. Touchdown, Piedmont. Now we head into the DMR Reconstruction Studio, and your host, Brian Stevenson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the post-Halloween edition of Gridiron State of the Union. I'm your host, Brian Stevenson. In the headlines tonight, a big shakeup in the UC Preps Phenomenal Five poll this week after Weddington and Porter Ridge both lost last week. We'll share the new poll at the end of the show, but right now it's time to talk about last week's news and all of tonight's games with our trip around Union. We start, as usual, with Sideline Mike, who tonight is at Piedmont. The Piedmont Panthers come into tonight on a two-game win streak. Last week, the Panthers took out Marvin Ridge 27-14. The third quarter proved to be the game-breaker for Piedmont as Rhett Byram picked up a Mavericks backwards pass and ran in for a touchdown. Then the Panthers ran a 68-yard hook and lateral in for a score. Piedmont is now 7-2 overall and 2-1 and in the Southern Carolina Conference. Their opponent tonight is the Weddington Warriors. The Warriors lost a heartbreaker in overtime last week to Sun Valley. Weddington was the conference favorite, but now they have to win their final two games and hope for Sun Valley to lose a game to share the conference title. Piedmont is hoping to hand the Warriors their second straight loss and keep their own conference championship hopes alive. Catch all the action in this one as our WIXE Game of the Week. Kickoffs at 7.30, that's the story from Unionville, and now to Reed Alexander, who's in Indian Trail with Sun Valley. Sun Valley had one of the best games in Union County this season with its overtime win over Weddington last week. The Spartans led the game until Weddington tied it up in the fourth quarter. In overtime, kicker Kirsten Peck knocked home a 23-yard field goal, and that turned out to be the game winner after Weddington missed their attempt to tie it up. If the Spartans win their final two games, they will win their first outright conference championship in the school's 52-year history. Cuthbertson would like to spoil Sun Valley's championship plan. The Cavaliers come into tonight's game with a 1-2 and two conference record. After winning their first two games, Cuthbertson has lost six of their last seven. They will need to win at least one of their final two games to even be playoff eligible. See if the Cavaliers can pull off the upset when you join us for game two of our Wixie doubleheader tonight. That's the report from Sun Valley, and now to Bruce Frazane, who has a report on Marvin Ridge. It has been a tough season for Marvin Ridge. Last week, the Mavericks fell to Piedmont. The loss eliminated Marvin Ridge from any playoff consideration. Tonight, the Mavericks host Anston County. They have two more chances to end the season on a positive note. Anston comes into the game with only one win in the conference, but they did beat Cutherson last week. That's the story from Marvin Ridge, and now to Jeff Weiss, who's with Central Academy. Central Academy comes into tonight's game with Fort Hill still searching for its first Rocky River Conference win. Last week, the Cougars fell to Mount Pleasant 19-0. But tonight is Seniors' Night, and Central is hoping to score an upset against Forest Hills. A win would make the Cougars playoff eligible with four wins. Their opponent, Forest Hills, is trying to keep their perfect conference record intact. Last week, the Jackets staged an impressive fourth quarter comeback to beat West Stanley 29-20. After recovering a West Stanley fumble, quarterback Jared Lee ran the next play 50 yards for a score to give Forest Hills the lead. The Cougars and the Jackets kick things off at Walter Beckett tonight at 7.30. That's the story from Monroe. And now to Chris Rogers, who has a report on the Red Hawks. The Monroe Red Hawks hit the road tonight to Oprah for a matchup with the West Stanley Colts. The Red Hawks are undefeated at 3-0 in Rocky River Conference play, last week defeating Parkwood on the road 46-7. Monroe had two defensive touchdowns on the night, Chase Byram adding rushing touchdowns, 
also running for 135 yards on the night. Tonight's opponent in the West Stanley Colts come into the game with only two wins on the season and one win in the Rocky River Conference, nearly knocking off Forest Hills last week at Jacket Stadium before falling in the final minutes 29-20. to A red off win would most definitely set up a matchup with Forest Hills next week for the conference championship. That's the story now from Oprah, and now let's head to Derek Skinner, who has a report on Parkwood. The Parkwood Rebels are on the road tonight at Mount Pleasant. Last week, the Rebels fell to Monroe. A win tonight would get the Rebels back to 500. Senior Sam Mobley has been a bright spot all season long for Parkwood. He has 36 catches for 652 yards on the year and eight touchdowns. Parkwood and Mount Pleasant are both 1-2 and two in the conference. That's the story on Parkwood, and now to Ken Ogden, who has a report on Union Academy. Union Academy comes into tonight's game with Albemarle at 4-2 and two in the Yadkin Valley Conference. Last week, the Cardinals took out Chatham Central 57-8. Quarterback Craig Twill threw for five touchdowns in the win. He leads the county with 22 touchdown passes on the year. The win puts UA in the middle of the pack in conference play with two weeks to go in the regular season. Their opponent tonight is one of the toughest teams in the Yadkin Valley. The Bulldogs come in with a 5 and one conference record. That's the story from Union Academy. And now back to the studio and Brian Stevenson. Thanks a lot, Ken. One more game tonight. Porter Ridge lost last week to Butler, putting a dent in their conference championship chances. Tonight, they are at East Mech. And a special note, this is a 7 p.m. kickoff. It's time for our first timeout. But when we come back, we'll talk about a special event going on right now at Piedmont High School. But first, on a sad note, the Piedmont community lost one of its biggest supporters this week, former athletic director Bob Sellers. I will share more about Coach Sellers later in the show. He was 59. Hey folks, Shane here. If any of you have ever played high school football, the number one thing you want to do is win the game. You're going to find yourself in the red zone on occasion. That's that final 20-yard stretch between you and seven points, or between you and a victory, or between you and a defeat. Now, you're only as good as your quarterback. So let's imagine that damage to your home is the red zone. You got fire damage, water, wind, or mold damage. Who do you want on your team, and who do you want the quarterback to be? Well, the team you want is DMR Reconstruction. Tim Farmer is easily the quarterback you want calling the plays in this situation. Folks, they'll help you deal with the insurance adjusters. They'll take care of the damage. They'll fix it back to way better than it was before it ever even happened. It's DMR Reconstruction. Tim Farmer's your quarterback. They are the leader in the red zone. They'll take care of the problem. They'll help you deal with the insurance adjuster. 24 hours a day, call 704-327-4028. 327 4028. They're the proud sponsors of the Gridiron State of the Union on the Mighty 1190. Welcome back to Gridiron State of the Union now, and I'm joined by Emery Altman. And Emery, you're out there at Piedmont High School today for tailgating with the troops. It's a great event. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have going on out at Piedmont High this afternoon. Well, we're going to be collecting toiletry items for Operation North State, and Operation North State is a a nonprofit that gathers up stuff that is made in North Carolina to send to troops that are deployed from North Carolina, like in Afghanistan or Kuwait, Iraq, and uh, we're going to gather some stuff together and send them in boxes and hopefully to get to the troops before Christmas. Well, and you know this firsthand. You served our country. Tell me what it's like when you're that far away from home and how much something like this will mean to these men and women overseas. Well, a lot of the troops are are out in places right now that um, there is not a store, there's not a Walgreens, a Walmart. They're out in the boonies, and they're under stress every day. And to get just something from home, a box of uh, crackers or a a Yahoo drink, a letter, or even just something as simple as soap and baby wipes that you can't pick up is really, really amazing. It's an awesome feeling. Piedmont High School is your location, and you guys are right there next to the uh, stadium. You're going to have the Wixie banners up and everything. They shouldn't be able to miss you out there. They're not going to miss us. Uh, Just look for... Look for a bunch of American flags. Look for our giant banner. We're going to have a, a giant banner with Sharpies for uh, for all the fans coming to the game to sign a little message of encouragement to the troops. Um, you, you're not going to miss us. Well, absolutely. Well, it's a great, great cause, tailgating for the troops, and thank you for doing this. 
and thank all of you Wixie listeners who are going to go out there tonight and support the tailgating for the troops. We'll be right back with Coach Paul Hall on Gridiron State of the Union. Stay tuned. Shane here. Imagine this. It's the end of the game. Five seconds left. You're in the red zone. You have a chance to call one play. You're either going to win or lose the game with this play. All right, at this point, who do you want your team to be and who do you want your quarterback to be? Imagine the red zone is damage to your home. Fire, water, wind, or mold damage. You want DMR reconstruction as your team and you want Tim Farmer as your quarterback because he has a darn near perfect completion ratio when he's in the red zone. Folks, they'll call the right play every time. They'll come in, they'll take care of the problem, they'll help you deal with the insurance adjusters, and your home is going to look better than it ever has before. So if you're in the red zone with your home and it's fire, water, wind, or mold damage, you need the team that can win the game. It's DMR reconstruction. 704-327-4028, 727-4028, available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They're the proud exclusive sponsor of the Gridiron State of the Union on the Mighty 1190. Welcome back to Gridiron State of the Union, and I'm now joined in our Coach's Corner segment by Coach Paul Hall. And Coach, what a great win. I think a lot of people probably had the... uh, Wedding to name etched on that trophy. Sun Valley decided to say something about that on Friday night. Yeah, it was a not only a big game, it was exciting. Obviously, both teams played their guts out, you know, the entire night, back and forth. You know, basically the defense got the ball back for us and, you know, played lights out and really, you know, held them at tag, you know, and um, gave us an opportunity to go down and in regulation, you know, try a field goal and didn't quite get far, you know, close enough that we felt comfortable and, but then, you know, in overtime, um, again, we got, you know, we got stumped a little bit, but our, you know, got three points out of our first time. And then uh, our defense, again, stepped up and played a great, you know, made a stop. Did I, I, Myself included, a lot of the experts say, hey, Weddington, look at the way they've been playing all year. They're the perennial favorite right now. Did, did your guys hear that? And, and how much of a motivation was that for your team? You know, the, the kids know each other. The coaches know each other. You know, the community's very, you know, close to each other they've grown up with each other so I think you know just like any time you you have teams you know throughout the state that are are close to each other that those those become rivals and and when you have that you pretty much throw the records out well coach uh two important weeks left you guys control your destiny now uh, as far as winning that conference championship, how do you focus and, and make sure that you take care of business these last two weeks? Oh, I mean, you know, <clears throat> after the win on Friday, you know, we obviously had a, uh, you know, that was the biggest one of the year. Um, and, and we, you know, we've, we've gathered our, you know, our, you know, circled the wagons and basically said, hey, you know, this is a time that we've got to get more focused than we ever thought we could. Um, it's something special that we have our hands on, but, it, you know, it's not near completed with, you know, two games left with two football teams that, that are very capable of winning, you know. And, you know, uh, th- this week, you know, it's senior night and we're, we're excited. We, we know that we can, if we can get a win, you know, this Friday that, you know, we let our seniors their last home game in regular season with a win, leaving with that, have part of the, you know, conference championship and, you know, and have a very, you know, a pretty good seed, you know, going into the playoffs. Thanks a lot, Coach Paul Hall of Sun Valley, for being our Coach's Corner guest this week. It's now time for that brand new UC Preps Phenomenal 5 poll and a huge shakeup this week. Starting at number five, Porter Ridge. Number four, Piedmont. Weddington falls to number three. Sun Valley is number two. And Monroe reclaims the top spot they held earlier in the season. Time for extra points. Just one extra point tonight, as I mentioned earlier in the show. Former Piedmont Athletic Director Bob Sellers passed away on Tuesday. He was surrounded by his family and close friends. Coach Sellers graduated from Geringer High School in 1972 and played college baseball and graduated from Wingate and Coastal Carolina. He was a member of Calvary Church. Coach spent the majority of his career as a teacher, coach, and athletic director at Piedmont High School. He loved the Piedmont students, staff and community very much. He also proudly served on the board of directors for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in the Charlotte area. I always found Coach Sellers to have a smile on his face and be a kind man. And I know he served his savior, Jesus Christ. And no doubt he's sitting with him right now. Coach Sellers will be missed. 
And with that, we have examined the state of our union, and I can report it is good. Good night, everyone.